Science seemed to be the enemy of religious belief. That time is no more. Modern physics and cosmology, the science of the origin and development of the universe, now provide firm objective evidence of the existence of God, confirm the primary attributes of God, and show how God created the physical existence out of nothingness. This knowledge comes from a critical analysis of the Big Bang Theory, Einstein's special theory of relativity, and work being done in quantum physics. The concepts behind this esoteric scientific knowledge can now be presented in such a way as to be understood by any person with a modern education. We now know, according to the most widely accepted theories of cosmology, that the physical universe we see today was created out of nothingness, meaning no time, no space, and no matter. We also know that the beginning of the creation of the universe took place by light coming into existence at a singularity, a point with no dimension. We know that the matter of the physical universe was brought into being by photons, little packages of light energy which, when colliding with each other, formed the virtually infinite number of protons, neutrons, and electrons, which in various combinations make up everything in our physical world. In essence, we can now accurately say that all the matter of the physical universe ourselves included, is actually light slowed down. We know that the space which contains our physical universe is expanding. This is a concept so alien to human thought that until Albert Einstein developed his general theory of relativity early in the 20th century, it had never occurred to any of the world's great minds. But it was stated in the Quran over 1400 years ago when Allah told us, I am expanding the universe with my power. Even Einstein was so astounded by his discovery that he falsified his data to show a universe that was not expanding because he well understood that an expanding universe implies there was somewhere in the distant past a moment of creation for the universe. Einstein's special theory of relativity, which he actually called his absolutism theorem because he realized he had found the one thing in a relative universe that was absolute, is about the special qualities of light. Special theory of relativity allows us our first objective glimpse into that which exists beyond the material world. We could have found anything once we got our first glimpse beyond the material world, but what we did find is indeed remarkable. We find Einstein's special theory of relativity showing us that the non-material existence beyond the physical world consists only of absolutes, and some of those absolutes are remarkably similar to what everyone's religion has considered to be among the primary attributes of God. Example 1. As the speed of light, which is 300,000 kilometers per second, is approached, then time slows, and at the speed of light time does not pass. This means for a photon of light which travels at exactly the speed of light, time does not pass. Therefore, the photon is outside of time and eternal. Example 2. Since no time passes for a photon of light, and that photon can be observed at different places in space, therefore that photon of light is simultaneously in those different places and many other places at the same time, and therefore omnipresent. Example 3. Since every bit of matter in the physical universe is created by the energy of light, 
and that light energy constantly sustains and directs the activity of every bit of matter in the physical existence, then there is no power other than the power of light. Light energy is all the power that exists, and therefore omnipotent. Example 4. Since all knowledge that exists, that ever existed, or will exist, is stored by light energy and transmitted through light energy, then there is no knowledge beyond that intrinsic to light, and therefore omniscient. Furthermore, light does not actually exist within the physical existence, although we can somehow perceive it. As you approach the speed of light, one of the three dimensions, length, height, or width, the dimension in line with the direction of motion, becomes progressively less, and at the speed of light, that dimension becomes zero. To determine volume, we multiply height times width times length. But if any of those three dimensions is zero, then the volume is zero, and that thing therefore does not exist in the material universe. Light occupies no volume of space, and therefore has no existence in the physical universe. And, while everything in the physical universe has some mass greater than zero, which is a necessary characteristic for existence in the material world, light has no mass at all. As you approach the speed of light, mass increases. At the speed of light, mass is infinite. Regardless of how tiny the amount of mass you begin with, that mass rises to infinity at the speed of light. Since photons travel at the speed of light and do not reach infinite mass, it means that they had zero mass to begin with, and light therefore does not actually exist in the material world. In the physical existence, everything is relative. The absolute existence or non-existence of any quality is not and cannot be expressed. Everything exists between those two extremes of the continuum from absolute expression to absolute non-expression. We find, though, that beyond the material existence, all qualities exist either in an infinite state or have no existence at all. There is nothing in between. The great significance of the above findings is that they destroy any possible notion of the physical universe existing as a fixed number of material particles, which are moved about by a fixed set of physical laws. It is exactly this incorrect understanding of the physical existence which forms the basis of the scientific philosophy of materialism. It is the philosophy of materialism, particularly secular materialism, which has allowed the belief in God to be so powerfully challenged by unbelievers in these past few hundred years, more or less from the time of Sir Isaac Newton. It is no longer intellectually possible, nor logically reasonable, in light of the findings of modern physics and cosmology, to hold the view of the atheists that there is no God. The only logically reasonable and intellectually honest conclusion that can be drawn from the findings of modern science is that God does exist, that the attributes of God are absolute, and that God did create the physical universe, including human life. We are presently at the beginning of the transition point from a secular materialistic worldview to a spiritual, God-centered worldview.